Hey there Voxel lovers, Pandapops here to bring you another update video. Vox Edit May release is here and I'm here to talk about some of the new features. First thing I can say is Vox Edit is back for Max OS users. I know many of you have been waiting a while for this to come back and our team has worked very hard to get a version out to you guys. Larger files should also have faster load times. If you have a PC like mine where l large files loaded fine, then you're probably not going to notice much of a difference. But for those lower end users, those large files in Vox says it should be loading much faster for you. Let's hop into the animator and take a look at some of the new features. Firstly, we have this amazing trim all button. No more, I forgot a section to trim, which model did I forget to trim and going through all of the pieces. Uh, now you can do this all from the animator screen. It individually select or you can click and shift all of the models and click trim all in this top corner. Now we have trimmed all of our models in just a really easy, easy way. <laughs> We also have palette sharing. This is going to be so much better for getting colors across all models. The auto one doesn't appear to change across all models. However, palettes one to five will change across all models. So each model, you can select either the generic palette or palette number one through to five. Let's take the chest as an example. We'll change this to palette two. We'll enter here. And let's say that you want to load in, let's load in coals. Now I am going to just select this blue right here. And this is now linked to palette number two. We've loaded it, loaded it in. This is now palette number two. Only a few colors have changed from uh, the standard palette. This is now palette number two leave and now let's select all and change them all to palette number two and now it'll change relative to where those uh where they appeared on the palette so it's still linked to where they would have been but these are now linked across this will make it so much easier if you have specific skin tones or hair tones that you've been working with. Uh, you now just need to select a different color palette for it to be on and choose which one you want across all of the models. You can also mix and match them. So if you just want hips on the generic one uh, or number five, you can do that and mix and match. Model check. What's model check? Well, I've talked a lot about clipping and Z fighting in the Vox Edit live shows every Monday, 6 p.m. UTC. Model check will help you identify these problem areas. Up in the top menu, we can toggle it on and off. Toggling it on will give each model its own individual color. It will help identify where clipping and Z fighting may be present. So it will show the intersecting areas. So as we can see, this is intersecting with this one right there. We see a little bit of clipping in this corner. So what we can do is we can toggle it off. And as we can see, these are two different colors. So we may need to make changes. Whereas over here, we've got the exact same colors across the arms. So even with some clipping areas uh, and areas where they do overlap, there won't be a problem as they, they are, are the exact same color. So you can make adjustments where needed. Content selection. When selecting models, we used to have a very faint outline in the skeleton panel of that node. Now we have made it much more visually appealing. So if we select all of it, you can see it is highlighted much darker now. Like you can really see that these are selected. We have also made it much more obvious when a node doesn't have a model attached to it. So let's unattach the head. So we're gonna unlink the head. As you can see right now, this has collapsed down. The icon is much smaller and it's a lot more obvious to a user that, you know, there's nothing attached here. Maybe we need to place something there. Edit volume mode. Let's hop into the model. We have this new tool down at the bottom. 
the volume resizer. When you select this, you can actually now drag your volume box to your desired positions in any which way. Before, if you manually do it over here, let's do the X axis and make it 20. It would only ever go to this side, but if we wanted to do an edit on the other side, now we click click this and we can actually just drag it out to the side to confirm you do need to click the button again to confirm that that's what you want to do if you just click off of it so let's uh drag it back in if you just click onto a different mode it won't accept it you do need to be clicking on that button again to to sort of confirm that size these are just a few of the updates and you'll be able to read more from the change log on the Vox Edit news page. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. Tune in for our live shows and I'll see you in the metaverse. Goodbye.